You had such promise. You could have been my successor. My equal. But now. But I may still have some small use for you. I still have enemies to find and destroy. You will do my bidding until I find a new apprentice, and then, like Vader, you will be cast aside. Darth Sidious, to Starkiller the storyline of the non-canon Dark Side alternate ending is continued in two downloadable content missions, which act as alternate versions of Star Wars, Episode 4 A New Hope and Star Wars, Episode 5 The Empire Strikes Back, respectively. The missions are later included in the Ultimate Sith Edition release of the game. The Tatooine mission features Galen Marek, now referred to as, Lord Starkiller, hunting down C-3PO and R2-D2 after an alternate version of the destruction of Tantive IV. Making his way to Jabba's palace to request information from the crime lord, Lord Starkiller is double-crossed by the hut and dumped into the Jabba's rancor pit, though not before Jabba's protocol droid inadvertently reveals that the droids are in Mos Eisley. Defeating the rancor, Lord Starkiller fights his way through the underlevels of the palace towards the hangar, encountering a heavily damaged proxy en route. Once there, he's intercepted by Boba Fett. The two battle back and forth across the hangar before Lord Starkiller deflects the bounty hunter's own rocket back at him, killing the Mandalorian. Commandeering one of Jabba's skiffs, Lord Starkiller travels to Mos Eisley, intercepting the droids as they board the Millennium Falcon. Before he can destroy the vessel, however, he is confronted by Obi-Wan Kenobi. Despite Kenobi's valiant efforts, Starkiller proves the stronger, and Kenobi is impaled through the shoulder before being vaporized against the Falcon's active engines. However, Lord Starkiller is then attacked by Kenobi's Force Ghost, though he dissipates it with a barrage of Force Lightning. As the Falcon takes off, Starkiller manages to leap onto the hull, attaching a tracking device before falling off. The Hoth mission depicts an alternate version of the Battle of Hoth, with Lord Starkiller infiltrating Echo Base through a series of unstable ice caverns. Fighting his way through the base, Starkiller eventually gets into a confrontation with Luke Skywalker. After a fierce duel, Luke flees, leaving Starkiller to contend with a trio of wampers. Starkiller eventually makes his way to the hangar, where he disables a shield generator protecting the Millennium Falcon and gets into a renewed confrontation with Skywalker. As their battle wears on, Skywalker eventually gives in to his rage and falls to the dark side, becoming significantly more powerful. However, he still falls before Starkiller's might, and loses his hand. As the Millennium Falcon flees the scene, Lord Starkiller grasps the ship in a force grip, holding it in place while declaring to Luke that the only way he can save his friends is to give in to the dark side. Luke does so, blasting Starkiller with a surge of red lightning. Starkiller lets the Falcon go, gleefully advancing on Skywalker, declaring the now yellow-eyed Luke to be his apprentice. 